We have more on a four month long investigation out of Pickens County. Yesterday we told you about a few ex jailers who bribed female inmates into performing lewd and humiliating acts at the Pickens County Jail. WVUA Sarah McAluso joins us now live from our studio with more. Chelsea, three ex-employees of Pickens County Jail were indicted for theft and ethics violations and are out on bond at this time, but some residents aren't happy about it. Thursday, three correction officers appeared in court after authorities caught them on camera watching female inmates dance partially or fully nude in exchange for candy and donuts. The three jailers have been identified as Jarrett Draper, Anthony Lavender, and Demetrius Harris. This has residents speaking out about Pickens County's judicial system. It's going to be a pat on the back. The only reason they listen is because they didn't want the attention that would have been brought from it. So, oh, we're going to smack these people on the wrist. We put them in jail, but then we let them bond right back out for these offenses. But anybody else would have sat in jail for weeks. First of all, there should have been an investigation going on a long time ago. Sheriff David Abstin says the duties of a corrections officer include providing security, feeding the inmates, and maintaining jail operations. We, we continue, we have been and continue to try to train our officers. Uh, uh, this is a problem in all jails, all correction officers, uh, correction facilities throughout the world. Resident Kristen Mitchell says the officers mistreated the women and blamed the inmates for their actions. How are you going to blame the women for stuff they can't even get their hands on unless you give it to them? You say they compromised your guards. I'm sorry, your guards compromised their duties that they took an oath to uphold. It's an unfortunate incident. It's an embarrassment, but uh, we had to do some house cleaning and uh, we've done what we had to do. The officer's done wrong, but they're going to pay for it. Pickens County District Attorney Chris McCool tells us their next court appearance will most likely be in November. Live in the studio, Sarah McAluso, WVUA News.